Take over 9,000. Well, actually, this is take four of Mega Man and Face at Burner Man's stage. Jesus Christ. Why is he giving me so much fucking grief? I'm not in a good mood. I am very fucking angry. I am very fucking angry. Because this stage is taking me for fucking ever. It's not because the stage itself and all the fucking bats and all the other enemies that are coming up. But it's the boss! Jesus fucking Christ! He can't stand the fuck still! Oh. Oh. I want to find the bastard who thought of this boss and waterboard him! Jesus Christ! He is so fucking infuriatingly difficult! I wish I could do him last, but that will be stealing Ro Mithril's stick. He did uh, Burner Man last. And plus, he's only weak against the Ice Wall, which makes no fucking sense, because he's a fire user. And fire using robot masters aren't weak against ice. That's bullshit. They should be weak against water. That's fair. Or ground. That's at least fair. But ice? That's bullshit. I mean, Jesus Christ. I almost fell. The worst part is getting to the boss. Because the stage is designed to really want you to rip your goddamn hair out of your scalp. And here's one thing. If I beat this mother... Well, that was close. That was close, but it's in here. Because if I walk too far or too close, I will fall into that pit of spikes, which is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. And this big fuck always drives me insane. He's the worst part of this room. I mean, he stands there. He throws these fucking balls. That one is impossible to deal with because they're always going to go in the angle where if you walk into the path of the blue balls of doom, as I'll call them. One. One. You'll get hurt. And this big motherfucker's not going to help either because he's a spike ball thrower. The spike balls don't instantly kill you like all the other spikes in the game. Spoilers, there's more than one area where there's fucking instant death spikes. And I got careless, and I almost got hit for that. I mean, I can see how it's impossible for anyone to do a perfect one of this game. And this room! What the fuck's with all the spears in this room? Jesus Christ! I mean, what the hell did uh, Burner Man do? Did he hire a tribe? in the nearby forest that he was going to consider burning down and say, listen, King King says, my boss says that there's this, that there are these two robots. A blue one, a blue one and a black one. Not black as an African American, we're not racist. Black is an evil one. Uh, no, he's not part of us. Listen, I want you to go into this room, unseen, and s jab spikes through those fuck through the holes in the wall. And I double jumped too early, screwed myself over that fucking big health upgrade. And also, if you're wondering why I'm shooting here, there's this big bastard right there, this big telly. It's called Big Telly. And if you do not kill him, when he flies to a certain section, he'll drop a fireball bomb. And this bomb is instant death if you get hit by it. Not the bomb itself. The fire that the ball emits. Shit, you bastard. The, the, the fire the bomb leaves behind is instant death. 
I'm not going to show you that because I don't want to go through that fucking room with that big ass rhino again. I'd rather hang myself than go through that bullshit. Shit, 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 shit. I got lucky. I got extremely lucky, but I'm close to death up to the boss already. And I got killed by the dragon. Fuck you, you bastard. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go through this room again with all these fucking birds. All these fucking bird robots. And that big rhino right there. And there's a big health back there before before you fight the enemy. I am not gonna go back there to pick it up because Mega Man, the Mega Man games have a bad reputation that. Oh, you're a bastard, you cannon. You're a bastard, you can. You're a fucking bastard, you can. And you're a bigger bastard too, Telly. Luckily, unlike the other enemies, he only shows up for one screen, one time, and he, and he doesn't constantly respond like the other enemies. I'm gonna take the hit. I'm gonna take the hit. I don't give a shit. I'm taking the fucking hit because I don't want to deal. Oh, and that ice is supposed to be black ice. Oh, you didn't drop anything, you greedy bastard. You, you didn't drop anything, you greedy prick. I'm gonna take some hits. I don't give a shit. I am not fighting. Okay, that reset the dragon. Yep, it did. The worst part, the dragon's slow. But the best part, if you kill him in the head, it won't cause him to go faster. It'll actually kill him. And now we're in the big bastard's room itself. That was close. I almost died. Okay, I died by the flamethrower. Ugh, fuck. Why is this boss so infuriatingly difficult? Why is he so infuriatingly difficult? Jump over him, jump over him. Get in the pit, you prick! Unfortunately, that's the only way you can damage. You can damage the boss. By pushing the ice wall, causing him to fall into the pit. Am I actually beat him? Don't fucking jinx it. I did! I fucking beat him! Shit! I beat the hardest fucking robot master in the entire game! Holy shit, he was fucking difficult. And what do I get for besting this fucking asshole? The wave burner. Basically, it's an arcing flamethrower. It's official, it's not a blind let's play anymore because I got fucked a lot by that fucking douchebag burner man. Let's save here. You know, I, have, you know, I have a feeling the recording is going to get fucked up somehow. Hens doesn't have a lot of bolts. I'm going to go visit Auto Shop. I invented a power up with some power up on his rebase. In exchange for the screws you have gathered, you're going to be in some top shape. The only items I can afford are either the spare bodies, the exit unit. And the item present. So let's get the spare bodies. Yes, I do. Oh boy, that's bad. 
so the spare body will give me an extra life. And the exit unit, the exit unit will let you exit level in case you've already beaten it. Oh, you douchebag! You fucking douchebag! Yeah!